Monsieur, how's this? You have done it wrong. I cannot pay you for this, because I cannot sell this. I'm sorry. Let me try again, please. Go. Paint another. I throw this one out. But please, no more mistakes. I am not a rich man, you know. Monsieur, how's this? Magnifique! You have done excellent work. And for that, I reward you. Do you wish to paint another? Not right now. Maybe later. Very well. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Au revoir. Come in, set your things down, and come on over here. Hi, JJ Ling. I shake your hand, but I get flour all over you. Oh, and Heather called and told me about your luggage? No worries. I have plenty of clothes in every size imaginable. Your bedroom's down that hall. The airline lost my luggage once, told me it was gone for good and paid me $100. Then five years later, my suitcase shows up on my doorstep. And a bill for the $100 they'd paid me. Plus interest. Oh my gosh, really? What? You don't believe me? Of course I do. The worst part was I had to toss out almost everything that was in it. Clothes, makeup. I mean, the stuff was five years old, right? You like chocolate chip cookies? I love chocolate chip cookies. So do I. And the nice thing is, I'm about three pounds shy of being the perfect size 12 that I need to be for Minette. I have a very high metabolism. So, I make cookies, I eat cookies, and since you're here, I share cookies. Why does Manette want you to be a size 12? Contractually, I have to be a size 12. See, Manette is into curves, so she designs clothes for full-figured curvy women. Because I signed on to be her fitting model, I have to maintain the ideal size 12 weight and shape. What's a fitting model? A fitting model puts on samples from a designer's latest line, so the designer can create each piece on a real live person instead of a dress form. It's not very exciting. In fact, it's totally boring. Plus, you're always getting stabbed with pins. But it pays the bills. Can you think of anyone who might be out to get Minette? Well, Dieter, obviously. Dieter von Schwesterkrank? He and Minette went out for about six months. Then all of a sudden, last April, Minette dumped him. Just tossed him aside like last month's edition of Vogue. Do you know why she broke it off? No idea. Although I suspect it has something to do with the fact that Dieter lets his pet boa constrictor run loose in that photographic studio of his. He has a pet boa constrictor? That's what I said. Don't you believe me? Well, I... I guess. Hardly anybody knows about it. I think it may be illegal. If you happen to be in there, be careful. Does anyone else live here? Nope. It's just me. And you now. Managed to get a short-term lease. Soon as I'm done being Minette's fitting model, I am out of here. Heather wants me to pick up an envelope from you? Oh yeah, it's right over there. Heather needed a bunch of personal information so they can pay me, but I refused to give it out over the phone. 
I'm real paranoid about that sort of stuff. Don't ask me why, I just am. Go ahead and take it to her. See you later. Take care. Empty. work for Manette because you want to be a fashion designer too? Well, I studied at Rhode Island School of Design and Central St. Martin's in London, so I kind of like to think that I already am a fashion designer. I work for Manette mostly so I can develop some contacts and get a feel for the business end of things. When do you think you'll be ready to go off on your own? I don't know. Heather, my pencil's missing. It was right here and now it's gone. You walked off with it again. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I'm telling you, it's not here. Did you check behind your ear? Oh. When Manette fires me, that's when I'll go off on my own. And as you just heard, that could be any day now. Here's that envelope I picked up from JJ. I almost forgot. No problem. Well, I'll see you later. Whenever you have questions, just ask. If you need to talk to Manette, good luck. She's playing that ridiculous online game she's obsessed with and refuses to do anything else until she gets the highest score. It is so aggravating. Do you happen to know what Manette's login is? I'm afraid I have no idea. All right. Bye. <laughs> 
All right. I got the highest score. Or should I say Carol did? Oh my gosh, I did it. Heather, I won. I got the highest score. Send Nancy in here. We've got work to do. And I am on a roll. You're a genius. Now get in there before she decides she has to beat that score. Get Ah, you have some stuff for me. Let's see it. How absolutely positively rude. The lava lamp, the rings, the canister, the cone. They're perfect. I adore them all. Now go away, I have work to do. No, no, don't say anything. Let me guess. You lost your passport, so you're looking for the American consulate to get it replaced. Only you wound up here because you asked a Parisian for directions, and you thought you understood what he said, only you didn't. Am I right? Actually, I'm looking for Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Dieter von Schwesterkrank. Please don't tell me you're a would-be model who thinks her career would take off if only I would photograph her. No, my name's Nancy Drew. Minette sent me here to pick up some fabric photos. Ah, I regret to say I have not printed them up yet, nor will I have time to do so for quite a while. Had I used my digital cameras, there would be no problem, but unfortunately, the essence of those fabrics was better captured by film. But I need to deliver them to that fashion editor, Jean-Michel Traquenard, today. My regrets once again. Do you know how to make prints? Uh, sure. Then all is well. There is a binder on the bookshelf that will tell you how to make prints with the paper I use, which is Krollmeister Eskachrom PB paper. The dark room is through the door with the red light by it, and the four negatives from which prints need to be made are next to the enlarger. I'm sure you'll do fine. What's this? That's just a toy I made when I was a boy. Go ahead and play with it if you want. I still do. Nice camera. Is it digital? Yes. Very high res, though. Very limited capacity. Would you like to borrow it? I'd love to. Thank you. You're welcome. Just make sure you don't knock over anything in there. Some of those chemicals are extremely volatile. Help yourself! at all those bottles of chemicals. One false move and boom. Oh my gosh, it's pitch black in here. With all those chemicals around, I'm going to have to be real careful.
There, I'll just put them in an envelope and I'll be all set. Ah, you made the prints. Now you get to have the pleasure of delivering them to Monsieur Treco now. It sounds like you don't like him. He's a conceited nixnuts who thinks far too highly of himself and far too little of everyone else to do his job fairly. What kind of dealings have you had with him? Unhappy. I refuse to bow and scrape when I'm in his presence and he resents me for it. He's not used to that. You see, most people are so afraid he'll write something bad about them that as far as they're concerned, whatever Joan me wants, Jean me gets, no questions asked. Why does Jean me need those prints? Heather said that he wants to use them to illustrate an upcoming story about modern fabrics. What's your opinion of Minette's assistant, Heather McKay? Heather's a bright girl. Her crush on me is unfortunate, but I can handle it. She has a crush on you? It's obvious to me that she does. Dealing with models the way I do day in and day out, I've gotten pretty good at knowing what women are thinking and feeling. Does Heather know that you know? I've said nothing to her because although there is no chance that I will ever reciprocate her feelings, I see no point in hurting her. Let her have her crush. Eventually she will set her heart on someone else and I will be forgotten. I hear that you used to date Minette. That is correct. But you're not dating her now? No. Because... You would have to ask her. She broke up with me by leaving a message on my cell phone, and she hasn't said a word to me since. It was an unforgivable outrage. I don't claim to be a paragon of virtue, but even I didn't deserve that. You've had no contact at all with Minette since she broke it off? None. All my dealings with her now are strictly professional, with Heather handling any and all communication between us. Have you tried communicating with her anonymously? Are you accusing me of something? No, I'm just curious. Curiosity is not necessarily a good thing, Fräulein. I'd try to remember that if I were you. How well do you know J.J. Ling? As well as I care to. The way she's always pulling out that annoying word game and begging people to play. And did you know that she won a lottery back in the States? That's right, she's actually filthy rich. What kind of person models when she's filthy rich? There's something not quite right about that girl. Is it true that you keep a pet boa constrictor in here? Don't be ridiculous. I would never keep an exotic pet like that in here. Although I may have lost an exotic pet like that in here once. But you found it, right? Ah, uh, no. Never did. But don't worry. I'm sure it's found its way out by now. They get pretty active when they're hungry, you know, and I haven't seen it for months. But, uh, just in case, watch where you step. Thanks for your help. Drop by again. Please, in English. I do not wish to hear my native tongue butchered while I eat. As for my name, pff, not Traquenard. It is Jean-Michel Traquenard. Jean-Michel Traquenard. Traquenard! 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 Enough! What can I do for you, mademoiselle? Drew. Nancy Drew. I've just started working for Manette, as an assistant. Oh? What uh, happened to Ezer? Uh, I I'm not sure what you mean. Ezer! Ezer Miki! Ezer Miki! Huh? Oh, Heather McKay! No, Heather still works for Manette. I'm kind of working for both of them. Our Lady of the Mask has fired three assistants in the past five months. <laughs> I hope you are not next. In fact, that Ezer has managed to avoid the axe for this long is uh, truly remarkable. 
Here, I'm supposed to give these photos to you. They came straight from Dieter von Schwesterkrank's darkroom. I printed them up myself. You are quite doué as a photo developer. Bravo for you, Nancy Drew. Merci. I was afraid Ezer had forgotten. So, you had the pleasure of meeting Herr von Schwesterkrank, eh? He seemed very nice. Dieter is a very uh, enterprising young man, which in most cases is good, but when arrogance enters the picture, pfft. So, do you, like Ezer, hope to leave your mark on the world of couture? Would it be bad if I said yes? In the world of couture, a single creation worn by someone famous to a high-profile event? Such a dress can be worth a fortune in publicity, which makes it a desperately competitive world. A dog-eat-dog -dog world. A world where bad things can and do happen to good people. You must order something. I insist. Le Count, s'il vous plaît. Oh, but I'm really not hungry. Mademoiselle. Thank you. I mean, merci. Order anything you want. Everything here is superb. And Henri, he is the best waiter in all of France. Well, in that case... Let's see. The croque monsieur, please. Très bien. Merci, Henri. Ajoutez-le à mon édition, s'il vous plaît. Certainement. Ah! Ham and cheese grilled on a baguette. One of my favorites. Yum! Mm. Mm. I'm glad I ordered that. It was great. Excusez-moi, mademoiselle. So, what else do you wish from me? Do you have any idea why Manette wears that mask? I believe she is the victim of botched plastic surgery. Isn't Minette a little young to be undergoing plastic surgery? Some women with noses that would put birds of prey to shame are perfectly content with their appearance, while others with acceptable features are convinced they are more hideous than Frankenstein. Self-image. It can make people do strange things. If you had to name Minette's worst enemy, who would that be? Hugo Batelli, without a doubt. Not only do he and Minette have similar design styles, so that they are constantly competing for the same couture clients, but both of them are unthinking, socially inept egoists. It is a rare week that goes by without one of them insulting the other. Do you know of anyone else with a grudge against Minette? Other than the people she has fired unfairly, the models she has treated badly, and the vendors she has harassed over the years? No. You ask very curious questions, Mademoiselle Drew. They make me think you know more than you are saying. And as a member of the press, I'm not sure that I like that. 